morning and welcome back to North Dakota Today. Well, summer means baseball season and Post 400 is already in the swing of it. I have two seniors, Logan and Chayton, as well as the coach Jeff here today to talk about how the season is going so far. Good morning, you guys. Good morning. Good morning. Well, first of all, thank you so much for this shirt. I'm all decked out and matching you guys yeah. here. <laughs> so how's the season going so far? Uh, it's going good. Uh, it's been a blast. Uh, a lot of fun trips. Uh, like we were just in Omaha. We've been to Florida, so we're having a lot of fun. It's been, it's been a great time, yep. for sure. Absolutely. So for you two seniors, what has been your favorite memory playing with Post 400? Okay, I'll start. So and I've, I've been playing 400 for four years. A lot of good memories. I thought it's my favorite. So back in 2021, my uh, we went to the World Series. We're one of the top teams in the country. So that was a really good experience. I uh, played a lot of saw a lot of fun things. Played a lot of good baseball. So that's probably my favorite experience. So for me, I'd say I wasn't on a team that went to the World Series. So I wouldn't say I have one favorite memory, but probably just hanging out in the hotels with all the kids and just having a good time. Definitely. <laughs> So, Jeff, how long have you been coaching? Um, this is my 45th year. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, well, old. It, it, <laughs> adds, it adds up when you get old. <laughs> oh, my gosh, funny. So, what has been your favorite memory from coaching? Um, actually, you know what? I don't have a memory. It, more of just being around kids, watching them grow and develop as young men, uh, playing a game that's a kid's game. And it's fun to watch. It's really enjoyable. I, I feel privileged and honored to do that. Absolutely. So po Post 400 has a few different teams, correct? Correct. Okay, do you want to tell us a little bit more about okay, that? We have, um, we have three teams and uh, they kind of cover all three age groups. We have, uh, of course, our, our A team, our STARS team, and then we have a Comets team that uh, will have com uh, 16, 17, 18 year old kids on that as well mm -hmm. that will probably move over to the STARS the next year. Um, the Astros are our younger team, 16U uh, team, and that group is met by age, so they have the age requirement that they have, and again, they'll probably end up move comments than stars if you're looking at a progression and how that works. Definitely. Well, that is good to know. So I hear that you guys have a food pantry donation system at your guys' field. Go yeah. for it. So, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, it's just, I mean... Obviously, it's a donation system. It's, I mean, nothing too special, but it's a way we give back to the community. So, yeah. Yeah, 400 is really generous. Um, we like to give back to the community. Uh, we, so we do a lot of stuff like that, and it's really good to really just give back to the community. Definitely. So, I believe you bring a food pantry item to the field, and you get in for free, or how does that work? Yeah. yeah. So, th so uh, this week uh, at the Mandan, uh, they're collecting food pantries, and also they're doing... Um, uh, it's kind of a starry on bank night, okay? So, so they're a major sponsor for a program. They've done so much for a program already, and it's kind of a way to recognize them. Uh, kids get everybody gets in free. They'll give a free hot dogs away that night. It's kind of more of a promotion for a program and for what Starry on Bank has done for a program. Fun free hot dog. I'll have to come out and <laughs> wear my new favorite. Please shirt. enjoy. You bet. <laughs> Absolutely. So you talked about the Starian Night. What other exciting things do you guys have coming up? Um, well, through this week, we play West Fargo. And West Fargo, no matter how you look at it, it's going to be a big-time rivalry. We love playing them. Mm -hmm. um, it's usually a good brand of baseball, a little intensity. So it makes it a lot of fun. Uh, the kids seem to know each other quite well. And, of course, the coaching staffs know each other quite well because we're trying to work together and running other programs. And, and an example is uh, this weekend, uh, we have all four local programs, Moorhead, Post 2, uh, West Fargo, and us, all hosting what's called the Peak Tournament. And there'll be teams from Minneapolis, Omaha, Rapid City, it's quite a ways away, regional more than it is just local tournament. It's uh, quite an awesome tournament, and it goes Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And it's in memory of Jim Peterson, who has worked with the Post 2 program for a long, long time. Well, that sounds like a lot of fun. Are you guys excited? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah it's always a good time. <laughs> it's nice to be home all week because yeah, last week sure. we were in Omaha week. Yeah. So this week we're home and sleeping in your own bed. It's kind of nice. Yeah. Definitely. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> so how can people support Post 400? Um, come to the games, you know, show up and support. Uh, it's always a fun time with Starion, so that's one of the best ways you can do it. As well as um, all of our games are streamed live on Magnitude Sports on YouTube, so that's one way to make it out to a game if you cannot 
to the field. Definitely. Yep. And for those who don't know, where is your guys' field located if they want to come out? Uh, so it's South Fargo, uh, Thurlton Baseball Complex. It's called Star and Bank Field. So you can look that up probably on your GPS and we find it. And it's also it's also by the zoo. It's kind of that area. So that's when I always tell people go go look for the field by the zoo. So <laughs> it always works. Definitely. Well, thank you guys so much for sharing that with us, and good luck with the rest thank of your you. season. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, thanks, thanks so much for having us. Yeah, you bet. Awesome. Of course. Coming up on today's show, we have Cooking with Cashway.